Hey everybody, today I'm showing you three cool Tesla coils that are handheld so you can use these Tesla guns for all kinds of demonstrations without actually having to worry about their weight or carrying them around. All three are battery powered. This is the fourth generation Tesla coil. This is a 3D printed version and this is a different kind of Tesla coil. So let's see what's inside. Two of these are battery powered, but this one, which is 3D printed, is not battery powered it does have the ability to lock in place so i can just put this like that and operate this without having to push a button or anything like that you have to just screw in your main part here and you can control arc length and other settings here so your discharge needle and now you're ready to go for the adapter, you're going to need this. I have covered a 100,000 volts version of this as well. This is a smaller one, but have a rechargeable battery that can be replaced if you want. Now just make sure you don't actually clip this close to your smartphone and operate it because you could always zap it. This is the adapter for charging it. Unlike the other one, this is just for charging the battery. So the specs are gonna be different. This is the fourth generation Tesla coil. So you have the adapter that charges it. You have a stand here that I never use, but mainly you have a shiny handle. You can change your frequency, power, automatic mode. You have this knob, so very straightforward. These are the batteries on top. Just connect this like that, screw it in, and you're set. This is the 3D printed version. This handle is also, but the rest of it obviously is not. You have a Tesla coil inside this gun, pretty much. They've changed the configuration to make it look like this, whereas you can have your standard desktop versions as well. This has battery. Press this to activate it. You turn it on with this. This has a display your Tesla coil unit, you have your batteries here on top. These screws can be opened to change things. I can, for example, turn it on like that. This is safe to touch. With this, very similar approach, just a different design. This button here is pretty handy because it lets me actually operate it. Without having to press this button here. The only downside is that this actually requires a power adapter. It doesn't have a battery on its own. I am going to use these Tesla keychains that have these gases inside that these Tesla guns can excite. Let's see. Let's try the first one. I would say this is not really the most powerful one. This one is my favorite because it has way too many features, such as changing the arc. Right now, it's that. I can press this button here. Neon works best, the other ones are a little bit not too easy to see. This is kind of the most powerful one of the three. This is really powerful, it's more powerful than the other ones. You see what it did here. The reason I actually used this was I didn't want to damage the desk because I know 
this could actually damage the desk and you don't want that but it actually burned through this now i don't really care about this anyway but just for demonstration the other ones seem a little bit more underpowered personally i like this one because it gives a nice balance of style and power it's not too powerful you can touch it still with your hand and it's great for demonstration it has many options whereas this one you connect it to your adapter and it's it puts on a very impressive show just have to be careful that if you have something that you really care about you don't want to point this at it You can use a regular test of oil. This is great for these actually. The only downside is that this is not adjustable at all. So you have your battery, you have your settings, you have your switch here, but nothing else you can change. Now I have a more powerful version of this that I've covered on the channel. You want to check out if you search for it. That's about it. These were three Tesla guns. They are great for physics demonstrations. If you have gas tubes, you can excite them. The 3D printed one is very strong, so you gotta be careful if you have any surface that could get damaged. You wanna cover it properly. You, don't, you shouldn't touch it either. Whereas the other one, the fourth generation Tesla coil with a shiny handle is safe to touch. It has adjustable settings. This one doesn't have any adjustable settings, just a switch that you turn on and off. Two of the three have batteries that you can change. The other one requires an adapter. For more information, please go to Gadgetify.com. Also, YouTube.com at Gadgetify. Don't forget to check the description for more handheld Tesla coils. Thanks for watching.